first of all, congratulations. So when the news was out, I don't think it was a joy for you or your family alone. I think the entire city of Coimbatore rejoiced. Thank you, Dr. Raj Shekhar. It's indeed an honor to be kind of being interacting with a person like you. Yes, all of us do have our expectations, our dreams, our desire. As a student in the school, I was fascinated by my father and I said, I'll take up the medical profession. Well, at that time, trying to get into the medical school, there was a lot of issues. I couldn't get the admission for the first couple of years, then got it. And as I joined the, medicine, the medical school, unfortunately, I lost my father. So, but I con continued with my course and I did well. I had to come back to Kaimbeto. I remember my professor of medicine, Dr. Chari, telling me that as the best outgoing student, you should join post-graduation in medicine here and then go on to specialize cardiology, which was my favorite. But I had, destiny had different plans for me. So I had to come back. And having come back along with Radha, I established a memorial clinic in the name of my father, did well. And then with the Acharyas, the divine blessings. So in 77, when the patron saint who nurtured us, who guided us, Puja Sri Jayendra Saraswati Swamigal, gave us this opportunity to start charitable health care activity, which later in 1985 blossomed into an eye care activity. I just want to share with all my friends over here, both myself and Radha went to Kanchipuram in the year 1985 to seek the blessings of the Paramacharya with the plan of the hospital, the Coimbatore Hospital. Early in the morning, we were standing in the queue and I play, our turn came and I placed the plan, our minute in the plan of Ekim Burdha, Solun Chunnaru. I explained that I was going to go to the hospital, 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 and the plan of the Aurora Tarela, which in the Seracela, which in the upon the plan of which or fruit which you could there, that was the beginning. So, from then on, the movement to become a pan India movement and serve millions. So, Dr. Raj Shekhar, as we have expectations, sometimes it matches with the developments, we may or may not get the opportunity, but God has different plans, and we get in something perhaps which is slightly better than what we had visualized ourselves. So that's what happened. In Sir, in the minds of every young medical student, the big question is towards the path of success. Is it hard work, is it planning, or is it destiny? Because I heard you say destiny, Radha Madam said destiny. So we are all telling everybody hard work and passion. So how do you match this hard work, your plans and destiny. What do you have to say for younger generation? There is no substitute for hard work. Hard work can never be replaced. I was just told this, uh, the, uh, the little master, Sachin Tendulkar. When he went for the last match which he played, it was not even a, a, a kind of a standard recognized match. It was some friendly match with some club. The previous day, for that particular match, I believe, he spent almost two hours practicing batting at the end of his career. So there is no substitute for hard work. Successful people are those who have put in hard work. Well, planning, hard work, a team, developing a team, the process, everything has to be there, and ultimately, with divine blessings, it gets completed. To the next generation, let us not compromise 
on our hard work because that alone pays. Yes, thank you, sir. Sir, what you have achieved in medicine is huge. But uh, it's not by your person, but you have built an institution. You have created a sustainable model and also a model which you have replicated across the country, which uh, is impossible for most medical persons. So you are not only a medical person, but also a businessman, not in the business sense of them, but uh, institutional management but you are not a management person. So how did you get these skills, which is very rare in medical people? Dr. Rajshekar, actually, I, some of my friends here, sitting here would know, um, whenever um, Acharya used to come here to our hospital, um, in the meetings he used to make a comment. Uh, here is Ramani, who is uh, uh, an MBA without an MBA. That's what he used to say. He used to uh, humorously say an MBA without MBA. Not that I had so much of a management skill at the time, but nevertheless, I had wonderful colleagues from whom I could learn a lot. I could learn a lot starting from our chairman. I could learn from everybody some bit of it. So we created a very robust organizational structure. A very robust organizational structure with almost nine board members. Under them, we said, let us have a steering council of eminent people, close friends of mine, who are all leaders in their profession. The bottom line being, being as passionate about Shankara as much as I am. So under that, we have a leadership council, our second line, dynamic younger generation, homegrown with the same passion. So this kind of an organized uh, structure and the team, the team in Shankara, I'm really proud. Some of the best people who are there with me trying to do their best, 100% committed and dedicated. We brought in a lot of process and systems. One of our close friends by name, Srivatsan, he came in and said, let us bring in, without losing out on the passion process, as much as any of the corporates would do, we brought in process and systems. So with all this put together, we could replicate in different parts of the country. But one thing which we always tell every single Shankara family member is not to lose out on the humility. Humility is the essence of life. Yeruvor anaivariyum kunindu varacholgi indradu. Yeranguvor anaivariyum nimirindu challa chayik indradu. Malai sonnadu. Panindu vaharindal uyarindu povai. Nimirindu therindal yerengi povai. Being humble, whether he is a... a top surgeon, heading a department, a speciality, or an administrator, we said, be humble and simple, you can reach greater heights. So that was fantastic. So <clears throat> you also talked about passion. I can understand your passion. I can also understand if uh, Radha Madam behind you as a passion motivator. But how many people you have in your team now? Sir, amongst the we have 1,800 people working for Shankara across the country. Yeah. So, 1,800 people spread across 10 different states. The biggest problem we all face is to infuse the same culture into one institution in one city. We, it's a big challenge for us. How did you bring the same culture and motivation in 10 different states and so many different people? Yeah, this is a challenge. It's a challenge. Because uh, in India, every state is a different country. The language is different. Their socioeconomic status is different. Their expectations are different. So to bring them together and infuse that Shankara world culture is a very challenging one. And for that, we have our own capacity building arm called Shankara Academy of Vision. Right from the doctor to the administrator to the staff and the paramedical staff, we make sure that they are groomed the Shankara way. They are taken in at least 18 months before the new hospital gets inaugurated into our payroll and they are trained. As far as doctors are concerned, our leading consultants make sure that all of them are trained as best professionals with ethical values in their mind. And subsequently down below, credit goes to Radha, all these uh, uh, the vision care technicians, plus two past girls from the villages, from the surrounding area are brought here to Coimbatore. And they learn not only the technology, but also the work culture. In those 18 months, 
by the time the hospital is ready over there they go back to work with the same culture so this is something which is happening our hr department is very strong so the hr head again make sure that everyone is brought into the shankara work culture i am proud of my leadership council four of them young dynamic and in their own vertical they make sure that this shankara work culture is infused into everybody so 1800 people it's a big team but the leader is very important i mean like they say it's more important a army led of 1000 sheep led by a tiger is more powerful than an army of 1000 tigers led by a sheep so you must be infusing a lot of enthusiasm and inspiration into people who has been your inspiration we all know it's radha madam but uh, i mean apart from her i mean who is your inspiration role model whom you have followed well um, i have had role models at different at different phases of my life and right now i have a, a open mind to accept and imbibe the positive values from everybody with whom i move forward so t- from each one i can keep on enumerating perhaps most of the people sitting here i would have taken one or two good values from them top five tell us <laughs> the top five. maybe should i start with you i know i'll uh, take it as humor but uh, let's start it, with it real, is not uh, it is not so you can start with the uh, no. person who was in from your young age and, yeah. my first inspiration was my father appala coimbatore le அவர் வந்து நைன்டீன் தேர்ட்டி ஒன்ல பிராக்டிஸ் ஆரம்பிச்சார் டாக்டர் ராம்நாதன் கோயம்புத்தூரில் டவுன் டவுன் ஏரியாவில் டாக்டர் சண்முகநாதன் நோஸ் ஒரு ஒரு வீட்டுக்கு முன்னாடி ஒரு திண்ணை இருக்கும் அப்போல்லாம் டிவி கிடையாது ஸோ பீப்புள் டின் ஹேவ் எனி அதர் பேஸ் டைம் ஸோ தே ஹேவ் டு சிட் தேர் டாக் டு தி பர்சன் நைபர் அண்ட் ஆல் திங்ஸ் லைக் தேட் நான் வந்து ஆஸ் அன் எலிமெண்ட்ரி ஸ்கூல் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஆஸ் அ யூஸ் டு கோ வித் மை ஃபாதர் அந்த காரை பார்த்த உடனே அந்த திண்ணையில் உட்காந்துருக்கெல்லாம் எந்திரிச்சு நிற்பாங்க தட் இஸ் அ கைண்ட் ஆஃப் அ ரெஸ்பெக்ட் த கேவ் டு திஸ் மெடிக்கல் ப்ரொஃபஷன் ஸோ ஆஸ் அ ஸ்டூடெண்ட் எலிமெண்ட்ரி ஸ்கூல் ஸ்டூடெண்ட் ஐ ஃபெல்ட் இஃப் அட் ஆல் ஐ வில் ஒன்லி பிகம் எ டாக்டர் ஸோ அந்த ஃபஸ்ட் இன்ஸ்பிரேஷன் கேவ் மை ஃபாதர் நெக்ஸ்ட் வாஸ் மை டீச்சர்ஸ் ஐ ஹேட் சம் ஆஃப் த ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் டீச்சர்ஸ் இன் மணிபால் வேர் ஐ காட் க்ரூம்ட் மை டீச்சர்ஸ் தேர் வேல்யூஸ் அண்ட் த வே தே வேர் கேரிங் தெம் செல்ஸ் தட் டெட் கோயம்புத்தூரில் மேஜர் ராவ் அகெயின் ஃபாதர்லி ஃபிகர் ஹூ வாஸ் மை ஒன் ஆஃப் த கோ ட்ரஸ்டீஸ் வித் மீ ஆஸ் அ ஃபவுண்டர் ட்ரஸ்டி ஹீஸ் அதர் பர்சன் ஹூ ரியலி இன்ஸ்பயர் மீ ஸோ சப்சிக்வெண்ட்லி ஆஸ் ஐ மூவ் ஃபார்வர்ட் தேர் ஆர் குவாய்ட் ஃபியூ ஆஃப் திஸ் நம்மளாம் வசுதெய்வ குடும்பகம்னு சொல்லி நம்ம பேசுகிறோம் சேன்ட்ராய் அவருக்கும் கோயம்புத்தூருக்கும் சம்மந்தமே கிடையாது ஆனால் he joined me in the year 1990 and said let us do for the country let us do for coimbatore inni varaikum as a partner he is working with us and the madri or people la they are all role models engloda chief patron sri gb ishwar unfortunately we miss him a lot avar vandu the joy of giving what is joy of giving we talk about joy of giving he is someone who showed us joy of giving is the best thing that can happen to anybody in their life our chairman svp meticulous planning or kaarite naalai thalli padagudad inda nimisham na inda nimishame adu panni mudikkanu that is the kind of a, this thing i have dr pg vishwanathan sitting here eppadi quite a simple a irundhu one can achieve so much i don't know avaru pesaradhu kuda namba kaadhil veladhu that is so simple and humble that is something which i learned a lot from him dr svk is there so all of them have taught me something or other in my so i have quite i'm i'm fortunate that i have a lot of role models with me so lastly what has been your reward because now life everybody talks about rewards and returns i mean your life has been full of service but for a journey of 42 years i saw on the slide something must have been motivating you all around and rich reward so what has been your reward in this journey reward is something namma enna kaari pannalum chinna da perisho idu panna what is the result that's the reward nalla vandhena i'm happy so it's a basic thing what we expect the the common denominator in our human experience 
is that all of us would like to get validated. We would like to be understood by people. In the situation, in the Mairur Award, beyond that, there are many more award, rewards which we have had. The first one is the Anugraha of the Acharya, which we could get very close to them and download an Anugraha. Renda an opportunity to build such a huge extended Shankara family. Koyambathur Edutthukanga, country Edutthukanga, across in United States, such a huge extended Shankara family, an opportunity. Then a chance to build a pan-India movement across the country and perpetuate it. That is yet another reward. Above all, the reward which we get from the millions of our patients. 1996, a child by name Baby Michael from the Burgur forest. The child did not have vision in both the eyes. He lost his mother soon after the birth. And the Koradikivandu, we did a transplant, corneal transplant. And third day after the surgery, after the bandages were removed, the child was inside the room. Believe me, my dear friends, the child was sitting there on the cot. He was keeping his hand in front of his operated eye and he was just moving it up and down. The child was seeing light and movement for the first time in his life. That is the reward. Millions and millions will not give the satisfaction. The next 85 years, 90 years, productive life. Or adult parva kurta, we make them as the breadwinner of the family. Or elderly couple ko parva kurta, we make them independent for their day-to-day -day life. They don't have to stay in other breadwinners. So giving vision, that gift of God, and the results what we get, perhaps is the best reward and blessings. S.V. Vizar is looking at me, so probably he says time is over, but I have to ask the last question. Sir, we heard such a fantastic uh, journey that you have taken, your whole team. So what next for you? Sir? Well, it's 42 years of uh, whatever knowledge we have gained, the experience we have garnered, the expertise which we accrued. We would like to share it for the rest of the country maybe even other developing countries. So we need to reach out. And we also want the next generation to chip in and see. So basically, in Shankara, we strongly believe that humanity has to be celebrated. And we feel that as much as, it, as possible, we should try to see that across the country Coimbatore, Tamil Nadu, you go to Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, Madhya Pradesh, Punjab, Rajasthan, not even Punjab, Rajasthan, it's pretty bad. There are millions and millions of people. So we would like to share our experience for their benefit. Thank you, sir. I don't know how many of you know. I mean, uh, we have started as neighbors. So I was Dr. Ramani's uh, neighbor when we were very small. We lived in opposite house. And when we were just having shots and very much in school, my mother used to always say when Dr. Ramani comes back from Manipal, she'll say, Manipal, a doctor, padigra, uncle, vandirganga, poi pathitonga. And ni andamari padichi, ni nalla medical college la say no. So he has been a great inspiration right from my school days. And it's personally such a wonderful feeling that, I mean, little did we imagine that we'll be sitting together on a stage and me interviewing, that can be no great honor and happiness for me, sir. As everybody reflected here, I think Badma Bhushan and Badma Vibhushan should be next because it reflects the collective work that the whole group is doing. So I pray God for that and long and healthy and happy life to Madam and also to you. And thank you very much for this. Thank opportunity. you, Dr. Ashikar.